Chris. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm really good, thanks. So uh, we're getting underway here with Lucy Mason v Elisa Rona for bronze. Uh, this could be a good start for a fantastic morning shoot. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. This, looking at the scores of the compound women, it's just very insane how well they have been shooting. Absolutely. And last year, these two uh, fought for the gold medal. So they're shooting for the bronze this year, and that shows the standard of the people here. Yeah, and I feel like sometimes in the bronze medal matches, they try harder because there's only one medal that they're going to walk away with. So they're really fighting just for one medal. Absolutely. Here we go. So Mason has a 10 with her first arrow. Rona a 9. Another 9 there from Mason. Ten there, so all square now. Okay, so Rona's last arrow was a 10, giving her a one-point lead. This is a, a match of 15 arrows for score, so it's total score out of 150. Uh, Chris, what do you think of the opening end? What do you think of how the two girls shoot? I feel like the nerves are definitely a factor in this. You know, it's the first match of the day. They really haven't seen anyone else shoot. They're, they're the first ones to go. So these first two ends, I feel like they're just going to loosen up a little bit. And the second half of this match, I think, is where it's really going to matter. Excellent. Yeah, and the sometimes people um, the practice range at the back mm -hmm. in very different lighting conditions. Yeah, and I was over there earlier, and and they were both shooting very very well. So I feel like there might be a little adjustments. I feel like they might be a little left there, but uh, you know, a couple quick adjustments and just being really you know proactive and moving your sight and and thinking quickly can go a really long ways. Very good. Okay, so arrows are being pulled. Rona has a one-point lead. Mason will continue to shoot first. Nice strong shot. Yeah, that's inside the line completely. Nine. That was a pretty long hold on that one. Yeah, you could see that she wanted that to go off and it wasn't going. Mm hmm There we go. She's starting to feel the flow now. Yeah. Rona's got a mark. The shot's a consistent timing. Ten. Okay, so Rona moves into a two-point lead over Mason. Um, so you've got a trigger shooter with Lisa Mason and a back tension with Elisa Rona. What, what do you think about the two different ways of shooting? Chris? Yeah, you know, it's all personal preference. If you shoot them correctly, they can all be executed, you know, the same. Um, I love back tension. I mean, I feel like it's foolproof when you shoot it right under pressure situations. Um, but, I mean, there's... 
everyone can shoot anything good as long as you execute it correctly, you know? Yeah. So, end number three coming up. Lucy Mason trails Elisa Rona by two points. I think she, Mason needs to not drop any more behind, though, if she wants to catch up. Rona needs to put some pressure on her. Yes, definitely. And, you know, Mason, I feel like, is just starting to feel it. Her shots are a little long, so I feel like if she just speeds it up a little bit, she'll be good. inside it's always nice to see them clean mm -hmm. inside the line yeah it's a good confidence booster for sure Ten. just in mm -hmm. they also give you the confidence yes definitely just a little long again mm-hmm but she held it. Got it. <laughs> when it breaks in the middle and the shot feels good and it goes in the middle, yeah. there you go. Then then people are in trouble. Ten. Yeah, they're starting to feel it now. It's just now close. A little bit left on that center target. She's left as well. Yeah, they both are left, so that's what we were saying earlier, is the lighting might be a little different from the practice range to here, and their sight might need to be adjusted a little bit. Yeah. I remember last year out there, mm -hmm. I was out there uh, coaching Mason last year in the final, and uh, everything was left, and I watched the final back so many times, thinking, <laughs> why did I not tell her to move her sight? You know, it's the, the worst thing that could happen is you miss on the other side because you moved it too much. You know, <laughs> yeah. I always tell myself that a nine's a nine. If you're missing left, give it a couple clicks. Yeah. Move it too far, same thing as if you didn't even move it at all. So. Absolutely. Yeah. People think one click is a massive amount, don't they? Yeah, you know, a site is meant to move for a reason. We pay extra money for those dials. We might as well use them. Absolutely. Okay, so still a two-point lead for Elisa Rona going into end number four. I, I always find that end number four is the true story of the match. It is, can yeah. Happen. It is, yeah, because going into the last end, everything is already said and done, you know. You, Pretty much, you have to put them all in the middle on the last end. You don't yeah. have an option. Yeah. Ray Wild always calls the fourth end the clutch. Mm -hmm. It is. Mason will shoot first on target number one. Two points down to Elisa Rona Ritley. Last year's gold medalist contesting the bronze this year. That's in, I reckon. Left side, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the screens have given that as a tent. That's what she needed. Mm. So, it's only a one point difference. Got to put another one in now, though, to keep her working. Mm. Oh, just saw it. Just saw as it, it broke, it, you could mm. see her front dip down. That's what we call a dip bang right there. Yeah. 
with a chance for a three-point lead, which I think would be too much. She takes it. Capitalized on that fourth end, like we were saying. Yeah. So she uh, gave Mason a chance on the first arrow, but uh, Mason didn't follow up with any more tens, which in this game you just got to keep, keep the pressure building. It's hard. It's hard because I know both of them are feeling it. They called uh, Mason's first arrow out on the top target as well, so that's oh, pretty, wow. that's tough. That's a four point difference now. Yeah. It's not over till it's over though, no. anything can happen. So. Anything can happen. Got to shoot all the arrows. And you just got to put them in the middle. You got to yeah. draw back and put them in the middle. Strong shot. That was good. I think when you look at both target faces, though, the quality of the of the shooting of the overall high. groups, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. there's been a lot of just outs, even the ones that have missed. Ten. Left side. Yeah. Just long again. Mm -hmm. Nine. Last shot for Lucy Mason. And she finished it with a ten. Nine. No. Weren't quite flowing. Nine. That'll do. <laughs> Very happy Elisa Rona gets the bronze medal. It's a lot of emotions right she there. She wanted that. Yeah. So, quick review of that match from yourself, Chris. What did you think? You know, I think um, lighting may have been an issue from practice range to here with everyone was favoring that left side. So I think if they were paying attention a little bit more more proactive on moving their sights, they would yeah. have capitalized on a few more points. But started off a little, you know, a little nervous, but uh, they really found their flow. And uh, it was a great match. You know, they still shot really good, like we were saying. Tight groups. They were just out just a little, little bit. So... Overall, it was a super good match. Excellent, yeah. Quality shooting from the girl. Always tough doing the first match of the day. Always tough. It's early. You've too, got to get the crowd too early. going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done, Elise Serona, bronze medalist, Nimes 2019.